The Liberty, I gotta hand it to them. They have been building the right way. They got to the playoffs in 21. Last year, they won their first playoff game, and they just have a lot of really nice pieces. I knew as soon as the season ended that it was going to be a big free agency for us. I think we've proven that we're willing to be aggressive. We're hell-bent on bringing a championship here. The Liberty are on the verge of a blockbuster trade, reportedly adding 2021 WNBA MVP and four-time All-Star Jonquil Jones. Hi! Welcome. How are you? <laughs> you know, we're very lucky and, and happy that JJ chose us. Stewie is coming to New York. The Empire State Building lit up with Stewie across it. You are officially headed to the New York Liberty. New York is a basketball city and I can't wait to be a part of it. You know, John Cole came and then Stewie came and then Courtney Vandersloot came. Players want to play here because of what they've invested and how they take care of their players. This is fun and we haven't seen free agency like this in the WNBA before. It's a really special opportunity. Things like this don't happen often. And now they are in a position to contend. That team is stacked. The Liberty, they got everybody. I went to the grocery store. People are talking about it already about winning the championship. Yeah, like I've been saying the whole time. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> Let's go! Every year we start a new season, we want to win a championship. And, you know, obviously the team that we have now, you know, we've got players that we know we're capable of winning and going to that next level. You know, when I look at the talent from the roster last season, you know, you think of Sabrina, Benaja, Steph. They have this energy and they have this want to win. That fire inside them is still there and, you know, really was excited to be here with them. Like, I know, I know there is so much more that goes into it. I know it's a day-by-day -day process, but I'm like, our chances are very, very high. The expectations are supposed to, like, be through the roof, and that's what they are. And I think we all feel it, and our whole lives as athletes, pressure's been on us, and so that pressure's gonna give us a little kick, a little jump start. Yes, sir! Good pass, baby, way to run! I think we can be very versatile, very dynamic with the, the kind of players that we have. That puts us in a, a good spot to chase that first ever WNBA championship for New York. You know, on paper, that doesn't mean anything, does it? Uh, we're excited about what it really looks like once we get them on the court. Okay, day one. Favorite day of the year. Felt like we've been waiting for this for a long time. Okay, we had a great off season, but now the work begins. Uh, it's gonna be fun, we're gonna enjoy the journey. Guess what? We are the hunted. Embrace that expectation. It's an opportunity for us to grow and inspire. I've been around long enough to understand the difference between a, a great team and a team where we could have done a little bit more. Ultimately, we want to win a championship, but you won't. Here, we know that, that's our goal. We don't play otherwise not to win. But you're not gonna hear me say that a lot, okay? Because that's, that's the end product. I don't focus on the end product, I focus on what we can do today. I feel like it was like the first day of a new school. Meeting so many people trying to remember everybody's name, um, you know, but it's, it's exciting and it feels right. The players just couldn't wait to get into training camp. From day one, you can feel it. There was a little bit of a sense of urgency. Sweat! Renee! Renee! Throw! Give me the ball! Give me the ball! Players came ready. They know they're competing for spots. Good, good! Now get back, get back! Yeah. We're pushing each other in the right way and we're making sure that we're bringing the effort every single day. The intensity is there from everybody. That's just how we play, like we just, that's what we do. Cause even sometimes I'll check you real quick just to let you know like, wake up, I'm here, yeah. Wow. It's like a, wow, like everybody here is so good at basketball. Here we go, go. Go, next one, let's go. I'm seeing just the, the level of competitiveness that's out there, the energy, the fact that everybody wants to learn, the fact that everyone realizes that this is such a new team, whether you've been here or not, the amount of time you have in the preseason is so short and really wanted to take advantage of that. It's never easy when you're coming directly from overseas, so I was able to come right from Istanbul. So it's been a, a slow ramp up. Um, haven't really been practicing at all. 
we still got a, a slot Stewie back in and, and JJ's been in and out and I was, unfortunately Courtney Vandersloot got concussed the second day of training camp. So it hasn't been ideal, but it provides an opportunity for the other players to put a step forward. I mean, look, we knew this would be a really intense training camp. This is a really hard roster to make. Usually in the WNBA, you have an opportunity to have 12 players. Because of our cap situation, we're gonna go down to 11 players this year. And that means that you've got multiple players in camp fighting for one spot on the roster. Depth is really important. I think where we can win this year, obviously we know about our top five, but that six through 11 is where we can really make a dent in this league. And so we need people that our coaching staff feels really comfortable putting out on the floor in high pressure situations. Everyone that's here, it's their dream to be on this team and it's their dream to make it. But math is math. And there's only so many spots to go around. Yeah, I won't lie, it's excruciating. It's really all I think about during this time of year. Sorry, a couple of last year's draft picks in Niara and also Sika are here for the first time. How have they looked early in camp? Yeah, look great. I've been um, really impressed with both of them. Uh, both young players, first time in the league, uh, a learning curve. You know, Sika's, you know, she's the athlete. She's all over the place. Her motor is on another level. Um, Nayara, she hasn't played for, what, a long, long time. I mean, over 16 months probably, but you see that she's a very smart player. She's moving well. She kind of understands, picks it up really well. So just excited just to continue to build it and plan uh, with the players that we have. So, uh, but they're both doing well. So what has been the experience for the first few days? Um, I mean, it's been honestly really amazing. Like, it's such a great group of girls and I feel like I couldn't ask for any better spot for my rookie, especially learning-wise. I mean, I have so many great players, uh, especially on my position, like the best of the best that I can learn from and really like they can guide me. When you set the drag, you set the drag, but it's like, because your hips are sending you this way, you gotta, you, your hips gotta decide when you're sending the guard off that screen. Yeah, so just be conscious of that, no problem. They're still helping even though they're not at 100%. Like JJ takes me to the side a lot and that has just been really helpful. And I mean, just being able to pick their brain uh, has been just honestly an honor. I think she is like deceptively quick. Um, some of the things that she's doing in the court is like, wow, okay. Like I call her Nini. I'm like, okay, Nini. Like that's a good move. I think every day she's she's getting more comfortable with the plays and where she's supposed to be and the type of space that the coaching staff wants. I think of everybody, she's probably had um, one of the better camps. Niara is a really interesting situation. She's a player that we selected fifth overall in last year's draft. We knew she wouldn't be able to play for us last season. She had a very serious knee injury and a surgery that takes a long time to rehab from. We just thought she was such a great talent. I know she's going to be a great pro and you never know when you're coming back from a major injury, you know, how that progresses, but I've been really impressed. She's skilled at both ends of the floor. She shoot the three quite well, but I love her transition, her running game, her attacking closeouts, getting to the rim. She plays at the right speed and for a young player that doesn't happen. So she really fits in what we're trying to build here and you're excited to see how she continues to grow. Nayara? Uh, yeah, I think it was pretty good. It was a little bit more running today, a little bit more structure. Um, but it's just like even myself, like I'm still getting to learn everybody and like how everybody plays. Uh, so today I feel like helped a lot. But yeah, so far everything is going great. My body feels really good. I feel like I'm in a really good place and that just shows like I worked every day this past year to get to the point where I'm at now. Well, thank you for your thank time. Thank you. I appreciate it. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. Uh, don't look at me like that. I didn't ask no. this. <laughs> this is my camera face. Yeah, you this is, you know. Me? We need the phone ones too. <laughs> Close to your, close to face. To be a pummier. I try. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Baby, you look nice. Did you oh, get your nails done? I did just yeah. now. That's so why I was late. Because <laughs> of your wife. So Sika, for you, I'm curious as to how you made the decision to be like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come and you know start my WNBA career this season. Take me through how you made that decision. Mm. How do we end this? Um, I think like uh, I decided to come here. I think um, I'm ready to compete this uh, level and get uh, experience from the player and keep learning and keep growing as a player and as a person. So that's why. <laughs> Sika Kone is coming to us. This is the first time that she's actually been in the United States and she landed in New York City of all places. I'm from Mali and I started playing basketball in Mali and after that I, I went to Spain to play there. So from there I came here. <laughs> she's young. She's um, only 21 in July, so she's still learning the game. I think the strengths of Sika is just her motor. She just doesn't stop. She just competes every single possession. Running in transition, hitting offensive boards, uh, just her movement and the havoc that she can create at both ends of the floor. She just loves playing the game of basketball. It's fun to watch. Sika is a top 1% athlete. Overseas, she's averaging 20 and 20. And then she came here and I think she's done a really good job not letting the game be too fast for her. When it speeds up for her, she's able to stay calm and ask questions and follow teammates' lead. She has the type of personality and energy where it's like, you just, you want Sika to win at all times. Like you just, you wish her well and you want the best for her because you see that she's just so genuine in everything that she does. My goal is to make team and help as much as I can. <laughs> Kind of looking at this roster and how just many talented pieces there are on it, how do you try to make a difference with, but like still stay within those roles Absolutely. that are defined for you? Honestly, by doing what I do best, and that's defense. I think with Sludi, Stewie, JJ, B, Sab, it's so many points with that name, with those names. So everything in me says go out here, do the little things, play defense, get stops, get the 50-50 um, balls, like all the little things for me. I should be able to flourish in the role that they put me in because it's literally me, you know? Here we go, here we go! Well, Didi Richards, I mean, you have to love her, I mean, on and off the court. This is six foot three player that can guard from one to four. So defense is where she could really help us, that intensity. Go on, here we go, get a stop, Didi, you got him! Didi Richards is the ultimate competitor. She's somebody that puts her body on the line every single play. She's somebody that can go out um, and shut down an opponent's offensive player on the perimeter, and she loves doing that. I've been with the Liberty for three years. I think the last two years I've been injured, so I really just kind of want to just kind of make my mark on the team. Her energy on the bench, her energy on the floor is, is undeniable and she brings that every single day. Yep. Help, 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 help. Help, 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 yep, yep, yep. Help, 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 help. I'm kind of like the energizer bunny on the team, like the spark, the life of the party. <laughs> That's me. She's crazy, but in a good way. Is the camera one little out of me? What? You know, she's just out there, like, she's just Dee Dee. Stop! Way to shoot that bitch, baby! I adore playing with her because she just is always the first one to cheer for you, 
always the first one to hype you up, which makes it more fun. Ready, big mama for three. Big mama! Throw one, throw one. Drag, drag, drag. Knock it down. Sabrina. Ah! Shoot it again. Dagger. I love Dee Dee. As fun as she is, she is also hardworking, gritty, you know, like takes no stuff. She's put in so much work to just continuing to develop her game. And I think she came into camp and just her mindset was doing what she's good at really well. I mean, it means the world to be on this team. I think Coach Sandy and JK have done a good job at like instilling a high character team and a high culture team. And so it means the world to be a part of it. I hope that I can continue to be a part of New York Liberty. I see just a lot of, a lot of raw talent. I would hate to have <laughs> our GM and coach's job right now because everybody's just been been so great at what they do. And I think that every like all of the young players have just done that. They've definitely taken advantage of the opportunity that's been given to them. So it'll, it'll be a really hard decision. These are pros, they're coming in, they're fighting for a spot, they're very coachable, they're pushing each other and that's what you want. You know, there's a, there's a big competition going on at the moment. And it'll be unfortunate, because some good players will miss out. We're excited to see we've got two preseason games this upcoming week. It's gonna be really important for them uh, and for us to, to watch how they do. saw signs of what we could be like, but we know it's early days and we just got to keep building. You know, we're adding Stewie and JJ today, so things will look a little bit different. Just getting a feel for how it looks with adding, obviously, two important players for us. We're still learning a lot about ourselves. We still got some tough decisions to make. How are we going to fill out the roster? What do we need and what's going to complement the core group that we have? So, uh, yeah. There's a lot, we can go a lot of different ways. So your, your guess is as good as mine right now. We're still evaluating, we've got a few more days to make that decision and um, it'll be a tough decision, but you know, um, we'll just hopefully all make what's best for the team. This stuff is the worst, I'll, I'll just be really honest with you. Like at this part of the job, it really weighs on me. These players are people first. These are their dreams, these are their careers. And when something doesn't work out for a myriad of reasons, and it might not even be that player's fault, it might be that it's just not the right fit at this time, or we're in a certain roster situation, we have to make tough decisions. Morgan Green, uh, Stephanie Mawuli, those are two players that actually really impressed us. Uh, Sika Kone, is somebody we drafted in the third round a year ago, and I think we saw why. Uh, athletically, incredibly gifted, probably in the top 1% of athletes in this league. Only 20 years old right now. It was great to get to know her for a little bit. Wish we, wish we could have kept her. Um, it's just one of those things, that's the business. I can talk about, like, Dee Dee. Dee Dee's someone, you know, I've cried in the room. Dee Dee's, Dee Dee's somebody with me that um, I really care about. And so for us to not be able to continue that journey for now at least, um, it's really difficult. That's one that, that's one that'll stick with me. Hello. 
Hey, come on in. How are we doing? What's going on here? Scary, scary room. <laughs> how are you doing? You feeling good. okay? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Just want to talk. How do you feel? Camp's gone. Mm -hmm. I know it's been a crazy whirlwind. Uh, pretty good. Like, I mean, body-wise, it's going honestly better than I expected. It's a lot of information to take in. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. It's yeah. a little faster, more physical game. Uh, so that's been like the biggest difference. But I mean, the girls are great. They've been helping me okay. like so much. So yeah that's been very nice like i've been really impressed with you and this coaching staff and everyone um you see you, i see how good you are like even though like you're still learning i know it's a fast pace and you're making up some mistakes yeah. but you see <laughs> the potential that you have the progress you're going to make because yeah. you're going to even be better and better i mean last year when we selected you um we knew that we knew the situation right mm -hmm. we knew you weren't going to be playing we felt we're getting a real top player in that draft for the long term. Mm -hmm. And then now it's about where we go from here. Look, as long as you're down, we want to keep this thing going with you. We think <laughs> you've earned this spot. I think you're yeah. going, yep. <laughs> you're, we're going, we're going from, from 12 to 11 this year. And that, that, that's not easy. This is a situation where um, I think you saw yesterday as a real hard day. Yeah. Um, but we're, we're, I hope you know that you making this team is because we really believe in you. So well done, you've, like I said, the hard work is paid off for you. That's, yeah. this is the reward, isn't it? But this is just the beginning. Yeah, good. all right, cool, that's it, <laughs> you're good. Yeah, yeah good job, Bring good job. Oh, Appreciate thank you, you. welcome, all right? It. You got thank it. You. Thank, you. thank you, well Appreciate done. It. She's impressed the coaching staff and front office, um, and I think she's somebody that fans are gonna really like for years to come. Um, so we can be more excited. First game tonight, you know, we've prepared as well as we can and now we just got to get out there and play to the best of our ability, knowing that it's not going to be perfect. But we're excited to be here and I know every single game we're going to learn so much and continue to grow. This is the start of a journey. This is the start of a wonderful journey, okay? Do what you can help us, what you can help us. How can you help us? Every single one, you guys are all important. Okay, but enjoy the journey together, the highs and the lows. That's what makes teams special, and it starts tonight. Let's yeah. go! Here we go, hard on three, one, two, three, hard!